Hi there, it's Mrs. Drake with the flute, and we are going to be doing Book 2, Lesson 10. Book 2, Lesson 10. I hope you've already warmed up on some scales, and I'd like to do an additional warm-up. Everybody flip to page 13, and I'd like to do the second one, the second one on page 13 that's called Octave Slurs. Um, so octave is the distance from one note of the same letter to the next note of the same letter. So if you look at song two, octave slurs, do you see it's E flat to E flat? So that's called an octave, meaning there's eight steps in between E flat to E flat is considered an octave. Okay, so page 13, octave slurs. First time through, I highly recommend doing it without the slurs. Leave off the slurs, that way you can really work on the position of your lips. For the low notes, you wanna relax your lips and aim the ear downwards. For the higher note, you wanna firm your lip up a little bit and aim more up, but try to get a sweet tone on the low note and the high note. You really have to move your lips actually quite a bit. Okay, so active slurs. Um, do it. I, now I'm going to play now without the slurs. Let's do it without the slurs first. Later, if you want to add the slurs, go ahead, but it does make it much more challenging. Check the key signature. Okay, so the first note is low E flat. Put your fingers on regular E flat. But remember, to make it come out low, you have to put your first finger down. So everybody warm up a low E flat and a regular E flat. <laughs> And notice the change of your lips. Okay, song two, octave slurs. One, two, ready, go. try it with the slurs. You'll see it is much more challenging with the slurs. Okay, but moving back to lesson 10. Everybody flip back to lesson 10. Okay, song one in the 3-8 counting system. So remember, eighth notes are equal to one beat. Um, so song number one would be considered ta, rest, rest, ta, rest, rest, ta, 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 rest, rest. Okay, song number one. Everybody find the first note. Check the key signature, song one. Ready, get set, go. Okay, song number two, check the key signature, B flat, E flat, A flat. There is some A's later in the song, so if you don't trust yourself to remember it, please feel free to draw flat signs by the A's. It's better than playing a wrong note. Six, eight counting system. So it'd be ta, 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 rest, rest. Okay, song number two. Everybody, I'll count six beats to lead off. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Song number three is also in the 6-8 counting system. Remember, if this is screwing you up, feel free to just listen to the video, listen to me play it, watch watch um, the music, move your fingers, so you can get that back into your mind. The 6-8 counting system is still kind of new to you guys. Okay, song three, four flats in the key signature. B flats, E flats, A flats, and D flats. Remember, D flat is just the pinky. So rewrite reminders in your music if you want to, because you got to remember on song three, you have to do all four flats. B flats, E flats, A flats, and D flats. Okay, song number three. Let's do it about... <laughs> Everybody warm up the beginning. Okay, I'm going to give six lead-off beats. This is song three. One, two, three, four, five, six...
tricky finger twister challenging song. Okay, on song four, uh, check the key signature. It's a more friendly key signature, B flat, E flat. Six, eight counting again. I know the first note has a fermata on it, but let's skip the fermata just because since it's on video, it'll be easier. Just let's hold the first note exactly six beats. Fermata means you should hold it longer, but let's just hold it exactly six beats. Okay, six, eight counting system. Everybody, um, so the first note will be three, so it's actually a pickup note, so hold that first note for three beats and then continue on the song. Okay, so I'm going to lead it off with ready, get set, go. You're going to hold the first note exactly three beats and then move on. Ready, get set, go. Did any of you recognize that one? Okay. Song five, key signature is only B flat. So you gotta remember to do E naturals in this song, A naturals in this song. Feel free to write yourself a reminder. If you think you're gonna forget, it's better than playing a wrong note. Feel free to draw yourself some reminders. There's a few accents. I mean, remember it means flick your tongue a little harder to make that note come out a little bit louder. Song five, I'm gonna lead it off with six beats. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the last song is in the regular 4-4 four, four counting system. All right, so switch your bind back over to the regular counting system. Uh, B flat key, B flat, E flat key signature. Stop, the dots over the note means to clip them short. It's called staccato. I'm not picky about it. Just mostly worry about getting your fingers right. But if you can add in the staccato, go ahead. Um, this one, starting at measure 9, has a bunch of accidentals. There's a lot of E naturals. And then also what's catching my eye is the very, very end. Could everybody look at the very, very last measure of Little Portrait of a Clown? It's called a grace note. Can you see that the main note is a B flat? But can you see that right before it is a tiny little A? <laughs> can, can you tell? It's hard to, it's, it's small, but it's an A, A natural. And then it goes to a B flat. And can you tell it's in a slur? A little teeny tiny note like that. It's an eighth note, but do you see how there's like a slash cutting through the eighth note? It's called a grace note. A grace note. It's not technically an eighth note. It's shorter than that. That's why they put that slash through it. You're supposed to play the grace note a microsecond before you hit the B flat. The B flat should be right on B2, but you should play that A and you should slur into the B flat a moment before you hit the B flat. <laughs> It's kind of tricky. Um, and you slur it, so you're going to slur from an A to a B flat. So everybody warm up and play the A really short and then go for a B flat. It should sound something like this. Everybody try that. A very short and then slur into a B flat. So the ending, you would strike that on B2. So it would be one, two, three, four, one. Three, four. 
So that would be the ending of this song, Little Portrait of a Clown. Um, once you get Little Portrait of a Clown mastered, you feel like your fingers are good, I encourage, encourage you to find the recording of it. Remember, I sent you the link of the recording. The last song on every lesson has a recording of a full band playing it. I encourage you to try to play it with that recording. Okay, so let's take it about... Ti, ka, 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 ka. That speed. Measure 9. It gets much more challenging once we hit measure 9. The beginning is fairly easy. Um, alrighty, so little portrait of a clown. Good luck. One, two, ready, go.